Thanks for staying with us here on Newsdesk. Now let's go to the Ashanti region because health authorities there are distancing themselves from the Laney State and Barrier Law of the Father of popular musician Obo, who tested positive for coronavirus two months ago. Nana Bonsi Osaikufo, who is also the chief of the Juaso Oyoko clan, was laid in state uh, the weekend on the blind side of local authorities in what many say may be a breach of COVID-19 protocols. Though a positive case of COVID-19, the family transported the body from Accra, laid him in state and performed burial rites for him and the, at the family house at Joasso in the Asante Achim municipality of the Ashanti region. The regional health director, Dr. Emmanuel Tinkram, tells Love News that local COVID-19 teams were not notified of all of these activities. Love FM's Erastus Asari Donko has more in this report. <laughs> Obo's father, Nana Osei Buensi Kufo, who is also chief of the Oyoko clan of Jaso, was declared dead on March 27th this year at the Ridge Hospital in Accra after testing positive for COVID-19. <laughs> Two months after his death, his body was transported from Accra to Jaso, his hometown, at the weekend in a grand style. Yesterday marked the burial of the father of Bais Osei Kufuo, popularly known as Obuo, the uh, past president of Musiga. In an unusual burial protocol for COVID positive cases in the Shanti region, he was laid in state at his family house with mourners filing past. Family members kept vigil and performed burial rites before he was buried at the Royal Cemetery at Jasu. All this was done without the participation and knowledge of the regional and municipal health directorates. The regional health director, Dr. Emmanuel Tinkrain, tells Love News regional COVID teams were not aware of the burial. Municipal Chief Executive for Asante Achim South, Alexander Frempon, denies knowledge of the burial. But Obo's family say they had permission from authorities. Agnes Esiama Bwache is sister to the deceased. We were told he died of COVID-19. There were rumors that he has been cremated because of his COVID-19 status. Because he's a chief, we sought permission from authorities for few people to come around and identify and pay their last respects. We bought a coffin made of a glass covering so it prevented people from getting into direct contact with the body. At Jaso, many doubt the positive COVID-19 status of Nana Osei Buensi, Obo's father. I know Nana is not well before, so I don't believe that is that sickness of coronavirus, as they say, kills him. People who near him, they're not afraid because they know him and they know what caused it. The musician, Bais Osei Kufo himself, will not immediately speak with Love News. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Kumasi. Now, meanwhile, speaking on beyond the lockdown with MFR Power last night, Information Minister Kujopon Kuma assured the hip life musician will face the law if organized, uh, if, if, the, if it's found out that indeed he organized a funeral for his father without authorization. This whole question of permission to bury his father uh, will come in if indeed this person died of COVID-19 as established or as uh, validated and if indeed it is established that there was a COVID-19 related death mm -hmm. um, and the Ghana Health Service is supposed to be in charge of um, burials, okay. then you can proceed on that um, assumption. As I sit before you now, I do not have any brief that says that Obo's father is validated to have been a COVID-19 related death. It would be possible to interrogate whether they did it in accordance with plan or any plan was breached. Now the second thing is whether indeed there was a funeral mm -hmm. because what is allowed is private burials of not more than 25 persons. 
is that what happened? I don't have the facts. I've been in a lot of meetings all over the weekend. I don't have those facts. Mm -hmm. So was it a private burial of not more than 25 persons or did they have a funeral? Okay. If it was a private burial of not more than 25 persons, and as you were saying, it was under the supervision of the Ghana Health Service and the Accra Metropolitan Assembly, then there wouldn't be anything wrong. But if it was not a private burial of not more than 25 persons and they proceeded to have a funeral, a funeral will be in breach of the restrictions that have been imposed. So just to clarify, as I said before you, my office does not have a brief and uh, that says that this is um, 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 a COVID-19 related death. You are informing me that you've had that confirmation. Second matter is the fact that what they are supposed to have is a private burial and not a funeral. If indeed what they had is a private burial of no more than 25 persons, then they should be fine. But if they proceeded to exceed those 25 persons or they proceeded to have a funeral, then they will be in breach of the restrictions and the security agencies will have to act accordingly.